the Comox Valley, located on the traditional unceded territory of the Comox First Nation, the traditional keepers of this land. Beautifully located between mountains and the ocean in the middle of Vancouver Island in Canada's most western province of British Columbia. Hi, I'm Allison Leet, and I'm an actor, director, and storyteller located here in the Comox Valley. And this is Creating Community. Follow along as we meet the members of Courtney Little Theatre while they work towards mounting their winter production of Cinderella. We will learn what it takes to bring a show to life and about the types of roles required to make it happen. Let's go behind the curtain to discover the magic and the wonder that lies here. Welcome to my community. The world's a stage and I'm grateful that you taught me how to be a part of something bigger than myself. That every role's important from the lead to the supporting. So much of who I am and who I try to be is thanks to my community. Thanks to my community. Costumes are one of the final steps in bringing a character to life. Costume coordinator Gail Limber and her wardrobe team have been hard at work, sourcing, building, sewing, and borrowing pieces to ensure the cast is always looking their best. From the village to the ball. Well, I don't know what a real one does. <laughs> what is it that you do? Well, what do we do? We try and keep everything um, in order uh, because there's no, I'm not here all the time and other people aren't. So people coming in to find things, everything needs to be marked. And uh, when it goes out, it has to come back, be cleaned and put away in some kind of an orderly fashion. I have a number of <clears throat> volunteers that work in the costume area, and uh, it's kind of like housework. You're never done. We moved here in 1962, <clears throat> and uh, I'd grown up in Vancouver, but there was no theater in Vancouver in the 50s or anything. I never even saw a play till I got to Courtney. And um, <clears throat> I was invited by Coval Choristers to come uh, and be a dancer. Uh, my husband and I like to dance. And uh, so I was a dancer. And then I started doing roles. And um, because I really don't have a singing voice, I found it was better just to switch over to <laughs> <laughs> to theater and, uh, and uh, that was uh, 1975 was my first role with Courtney Little Theater and so that's coming up 50 years in two years it's a long time so that's how I got started and um, of course I love to act and I'm beyond that now uh, and I have done everything I was on the board for 35 years, I think, president many times. Um, I have produced, directed, stage managed, uh, cleaned the toilets, uh, you name it, I've done it. And now I'm mostly trying to oversee this costume area and we have a wonderful, beautiful, exquisite costume collection. Uh, from the time I was a little girl, um, I, I loved cutout books and the cutout dolls, but I didn't use their dresses. I would make my own and for the cutout dolls. So I think I always had an interest. And then when I was in high school, I did tailoring. And so, you know, I have done sewing all my life for my family and my husband and everything. And um, I always made my own costumes for all the shows that I was in. Uh, so it just kind of morphed. You know, what do we need? We need somebody to do costumes. Oh, well, I can probably do that. P 
putting pieces together and getting the look that you want, um, that's tons of fun. Especially, you know, using other pieces and putting that together and that kind of thing. Yeah. And, uh, and the wonderful part of the recent Cinderella that we did was uh, seeing all the costumes go out and saying, oh, yeah, I made that one for that show, that one for that one. Oh, yes, Molly made that, and then um, Marsha made that, and, you know, and seeing them being reused is great. Um, a piece of fabric, you know, seeing something in the fabric, uh, reading the story, figuring out, uh, uh, you know, how it comes together, colors, uh, all that. Well, as I say, it has enriched my life, that's for sure. Um, working with all ages, especially as we get older, I think that's really important. And um, I think it makes, uh, makes me a, a kinder person. Seeing stories from a different side all of that. I think if anybody has an inkling at all or ever thought they wanted to give it a try, all they have to do is come once. I think we're very welcoming and uh, I think there's a place for everybody in community theater. It's like a big family, isn't it? You have to have tolerance for some. And <laughs> but everybody has their little part to do. I, I think people don't realize what a discipline it is. And it's really good training for all ages. <laughs> Well, uh, <clears throat> very late. <laughs> and for a big show like that, uh, almost at the time when the uh, director is chosen, they should be thinking of costumes then and putting somebody in place. This show happened very late. Um, but the first thing is to read the show, sit down with the director, get the director's ideas on it, and then start putting the pictures to, together. I'm, I'm no artist, so I'm, I don't really draw out very much. Or probably nobody could understand what I was heading towards. So yes, I, I take pictures and uh, constant communication with the director. There were 25 people in the cast, there were over 50 costumes put together, and of them, there were only the Cinderella costumes, the two of them, the stepsisters, two, made from scratch, and the prince's vest and his breeches, the godmother's dress coat thing. I think those were the only ones kind of made from scratch. Everything else was recycled, remade, readjusted, and so on. But uh, yeah. I, I, I don't think I can pick a favorite. I love them all. So often the costumes work with the wigs, you know, and we've been very fortunate in having Nancy Parker and her wigs that she keeps so well organized and does so beautifully. Um, so I love to see that combination. I'm thinking of Narnia, you know, with the, it was beautiful. Um, and uh, I think of some of the pantomimes we've done. Um, and Peter Pan, the pirate. Yeah. Yeah, oh, great, great memories, great visuals. Oh, 
Yes. Well, I think uh, any of the young people that I've seen come through theater, uh, they are just so more, very confident and open to ideas and sharing. And uh, oh, I, I think it's great training, really great. Back many, many, many years ago, um, when I first got involved in theater, I was on stage with Kim Cattrall at the old Sid Williams Theater. Well, look where she's gone. <laughs> um, Sid Williams used to talk about that a lot because, of course, he saw lots of people come through and carry on. And, of course, he was such a performer. Um, and we have had lots of people come through theater in the valley and go on. Yeah, it's always a joy, always wonderful. If only I was younger. <laughs> I brought a picture to show you. I'd love to see it. This was my first show with Courtney Little Theatre with Sid Williams, and that was 1975. And the name of the show was Will Any Gentleman? I don't remember what it was about, but it was lots of fun. <laughs> I love your wig. Yeah. <laughs> Costumes are such an integral part of bringing the magic of theater to life. Putting on the character's shoes for the first time is something you never forget. Having Gail and the costume team create such incredible pieces of art is a privilege we are lucky to have. When you see a show, you can trust that each sequin, tassel, and piece of trim has been chosen with care and a whole lot of love. We thought that we were only learning how to entertain But growing up I've realized just how much more we gain The world's a stage and I'm lucky that you taught me How to be a part of something bigger than myself That every role's important from the lead to the supporting so much of who I am and who I try to be is thanks to my community. Thanks to my community.